Cartesian products so under Cartesian products we are going to deduce that is deducing property number 1 of part 2. So, here we are going to deduce this first property under part 1 which is A cross B union C is equals to A cross B union A cross C. So, this is the first property which we are going to deduce. So, in this there are of three sets A, B and as well as C. So, we have to assume we are going to illustrate by means deduce by means of one illustration. So, here we are going to perform this under the advanced level. So, here we have to deduce property number 1 which is A cross B union C is equals to A cross B union A cross C. So, in this regard we are going to assume. So, here let set A elements are of 1 comma 3 comma 5 and set B elements are of 2 comma 4 comma 6 and set C elements are of 9 comma 10. Now, here in order to deduce this condition A cross B union C equals to A cross B union A cross C. So, I am going to take first of all the LHS the LHS quantity is of A cross B union C. To find out the Cartesian product of A and as well as this bracket that is B union C, first of all let us find out the bracket which is nothing but B union C is equals to set consisting the elements of B. So, here B elements are of 2 comma 4 comma 6 union and C elements are of 9 and 10. So, here since we are finding the union of these two sets that is we have to write the elements of first set or the second set or the both. The set consisting the elements of B or C or both will gives us the B union C. So, here so in this regard so first of all let us write all the elements of set B that is first set 2 comma 4 comma 6 then now 9 second set elements 9 is not repeated here we can include this element and now 10 is also not included. So, here not repeated so here this is also included. So, in this manner we got 2, 4, 6, 9 and 10 are the elements of the set B union C. So, in this manner we got. So, therefore, B union C is equals to set consisting 2 comma 4 comma 6. So, here 9 and 10. The latter we have to find out A cross B union C for the LHS. Then now, in the next logical step, so here A cross B union C is equals to set A elements are of 1 comma 3 comma 5 cross then now set B elements set B union C elements are of say so here we got say so here B union C elements as 2 4 6 9 and 10 then now 2 comma 4 comma 6 and 9 and 10 are the elements of B union C, but here we have to find out the Cartesian product of these two sets. So, here that implies 1 so, here set consisting the ordered pairs 1 with all these elements and 3 with the remaining and similarly 5 with the remaining that is 1 comma 2 will be the first ordered pair 1 comma 4, 1 comma 6, 1 comma 9, 1 comma 10. Similarly, 3 comma 2, 3 comma 4, 3 comma 6, 3 comma 9 and 3 comma 10. Then now 5 comma 2, 5 comma 4, 5 comma 6, 5 comma 9 and 5 comma 10 are the ordered pairs or the elements of the Cartesian product of A cross B union C. So, here in this manner I got say here therefore, A cross B union C is equals to set consisting. So, here these number of elements such as 1 comma 2, 1 comma 4, 1 comma 6, 1 comma 9, 1 comma 10, 3 2, 3 4, 3 6, 3 9, 3 10, 5 comma 2, 5 comma 4, 
5 comma 6, 5 comma 9, and as well as 5 comma 10. So here, first set is consisting three elements, and the second set consisting of, of three and four or five. So, so five threes is of 15 elements. So here there are of 15 order pairs. So which are the elements of A cross B union C. So here this is of LHS. In this manner, we got LHS as A cross B union C equals to set consisting of these order pairs. Then now, so here let us write this as the equation number one, which we got from the first case. Then now. So here let us go for the RHS. So in our RHS, we have to find out. So here A cross B union A cross C. So here A cross B. So here RHS is of A cross B union A cross C. Then now, so first of all, let us find out A cross B. So in order to find out A cross B. The elements of set A are of 1 comma 3 comma 5 cross and the elements of set B are of 2 comma 4 comma 6. Then now the next logical step will be of set consisting 1 comma 2, 1 comma 4 and 1 comma 6 are the 3 order pairs and similarly and so on 3, 2, 3, 4 and 3, 6 and similarly 5, 2 and 5, 4 and 5, 6. So now here 1 comma 2, 1 comma 4, 1 comma 6, 3 comma 2, 3 comma 4 and 3 comma 6 are the 3 next 3 order pairs and the last 3 order pairs are of 5 2, 5 4 and 5 6. So, these are the order pairs of A cross B. So, in this manner I got therefore, A cross B is equals to set consisting these order pairs. So, there are of 3 in number in the first set and the 3 in number elements in the second set 3 3 is of 9. So, we got 9 order pairs as the elements of A cross B. Similarly, we have to find out A cross C. And the next logical step will be of so here A cross C so here A no, so here A elements are of 1 comma 3 comma 5 cross C elements are of 9 comma 10. So now A cross C is equals to set consisting. So 1 comma 9, 1 comma 10, 3 comma 9 and 3 comma 10, similar to 5 comma 9 and 5 comma 10. So here 1 comma 9, 1 comma 10. So 3 comma 9, 3 comma 10. So 5 comma 9, 5 comma 10. So these are the elements of A cross C. So here but here we have to find out A cross B union A cross C as the RHS. So here A cross B union A cross C is equals to so here set consisting first of all A cross B elements. So here we got A cross B elements as 1 2 1 4 1 6 1 comma 2 1 comma 4 1 comma 6 then now 3 2 3 4 3 6 3 2 3 4 3 6 and the remaining elements are of 5 2 5 4 and 5 6 then now so here so these are the elements of first set that is a cross b union and now a cross c so here a cross c elements are of 1 comma 9 1 comma 10 3 comma 9 3 comma 10 5 comma 9 and 5 comma 10 so here so in order to find out the so that implies union so we have to write the elements of first set and as well as second set so the elements of so here union of A cross B union say A cross B and A, A cross C is nothing but the elements of A cross B or the elements of A cross C or both A cross B and as well as A cross C. So, first of all let us write all the elements of A cross B that is 1 comma 2, 1 comma 4, 1 comma 6, 3 comma 2, 3 comma 4, 3 comma 6, 5 comma 2, 5 comma 4 and 5 comma 6. The latter we have to 1 comma 6 is the next element. So, here 1 comma 6 is not repeated here we can include it 1 comma 9. Similarly, 1 comma 10 is also not included and similarly 3 comma 9. So, here 3 comma 6 is there but 3 comma 9 is not visible. So, here we can include 3 comma 9 and as well as 3 comma 10. 
then now 5 comma 9 is not present here 5 comma 6 is there but 6 5 comma 9 and 5 comma 9 10 also can be included so here therefore these are the elements of a cross b union a cross c but here the number of elements are of so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 are the elements of a cross b union a cross c let us write this as the second equation so here from 1 and 2 equations so here first equation is of that is lhs a cross b union c is equals to 1 2 1 4 1 6 1 9 1 10 So, here A cross B union C is equals to set consisting 1 2 1 4 1 6 1 9 and as well as so here 2 4 6 9 and 10 and similarly say here 3 3 2 3 4 3 6 3 9 and 3 10 5 2 5 4 5 6 5 9 and 5 10 so here 3 1 3 2 3 4 3 6 3 9 and 3 10 and as well as 5 2 5 4 5 6 5 9 and as well as 5 10 so here these are the elements of first set that is LHS so here a cross b union c then now let us write about the so here a cross b that is the right hand side so here union a cross c so here the elements are of set consisting 1 comma 2 1 comma 4 1 comma 6 here 1 comma 9 and 1 comma 10 are also there 1 comma 9 and 1 comma 10 then now let us go for the 3 3 2 3 4 3 6 And here 3 9 3 10, 3 9 comma 3 10, then now 5, 5 2 5 4 5 6, and 5 9 and 5 10. So here 5 comma 9 and 5 comma 10. From this, it is clear that so here two sets are having the similar elements, the right hand sets are equal. So here right hand set elements are equal, therefore the left hand sets must be equated. So from this, it is clear that A cross B. You a cross b union c is equal to a cross b union a cross c. So, then our next logical step is of since RHS of the two equations are equal, hence the LHS of the two equations must be equated. So, here in this manner we got then we have A cross B union C is equals to A cross B union A cross C. So, here from this it is understood that cross that is Cartesian product distributes over union. So, here Cartesian product is distributing over union from LHS to the RHS. So, here A cross B union A cross C is the right hand side product. So, here the Cartesian product over union distributes from LHS to RHS. So, from, the, from this it is clear that the Cartesian product distributes over union from left to right from LHS to RHS. 